Happy Valentine's. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Turner wants to cook dinner for Nan Nan and Papa tonight before his mom and daddy pick him up. So he's going to make us some copycat Olive Garden chicken pasta. So a lot of you have asked me to do a few more recipes in the pressure cooker. Ours is the multi-cooker with Pampered Chef. And uh, so I'm showing you this one. So I've got about a pound and a half of chicken. And Turner's just gonna dump the chicken in. Go ahead, baby. You can get on your knees so you can, or you're on your knees. Just dump that raw chicken right in the bottom. There you go. Now you can use chicken breast. Uh, my husband's a thigh man, so I am using chicken thighs. And I'm just kind of spreading that out in an even layer on the bottom. All right, the next step is penne pasta. So he's gonna pour in a box of pasta. You can use your favorite. The Olive Garden chicken and pasta, they use the penne. And we got all of that out. So I'm just gonna kind of spread that out on the bottom. So we'll let y'all- smelling good. Yeah, it's already smelling good, isn't it? <laughs> okay. The next step is going to be to add our Olive Garden Signature Italian Seasoning. So that's what makes it the copycat to the Olive Garden. And we need three-fourths cup of that. You want Nan to pour it? Okay. Okay, just pour that right on in there. I went ahead and put it in the measure all cup. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that down. Why does that look like sauce? It does look like sauce. So we got every last drop using that measure all cup. All right, Turner, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of pepper. It calls for about a half a teaspoon of pepper. So I'm gonna grind some fresh black pepper in there. And then the other thing we need is eight ounces of cream cheese. And I've had it sitting out softening for a little bit. You wanna just dump it in? There we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna just kind of put it in the middle a little bit. So again, I will let you see what this looks like. You probably can see. Now he's gonna pour in a box of chicken broth. It calls for three and a half cups, but there's only four cups in there, so we're gonna go ahead and pour it all in, baby. I already opened it. Yeah, pour it all in. And that's it. Dinner is cooked for Nan and Papa. It's gonna be delicious. By my seven, he'll soon be eight. He'll be eight next month. Can't believe he's going up so fast. Smells good, don't it? I mean, it does smell nice. <laughs> He's gonna know how to cook. Some lady's gonna be lucky one day. But Nan's gonna be real picky about who that is. Okay, the only other thing we have to do, and I'm gonna share this recipe with you. I'll be grating some Parmesan cheese while it cooks um, to put on top mm -hmm. when it's done. Now, it calls for about a fourth of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Um, diced or sliced and, and dried. And it says to put them in at the end, but I like to put them in. You wanna go ahead and roll that up and dump them in? I like to go ahead and put them in because it gives it a sweetness, a kind of a sweet flavor to it, to me. So again, I'm not stirring. I am just kind of moving things around. This, this looks like it's going to look, taste good. It, he said it looks like it's gonna taste good. It does taste good, baby. So that's it, guys. That is just how simple it is to have a delicious Valentine dinner cooked by my favorite sweetheart. So now what I'm gonna do is put this, you, want, you can hop down if you want to, sweetheart. And you wanna, you wanna get those tomatoes off for me. There you go, thanks. He's making sure there's nothing on top of my cream cheese. That's good, sweetie. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so now I'll show you, he just, Kind of scrape what tomato um, sun-dried tomatoes were on top so what i do now i'll bring the pressure cooker over i didn't even have it cut on i just had it down here so you could see better as to what i'm doing so all i have to do is put it in and i will close the lid i'm gonna set it to custom for just seven minutes seven minutes is all it's going to take to do that can i set it to custom you can you have to We'll have to, I'll let you turn that knob and we'll cut it off. He wants to set it, so I'll let him. Can you see it? So he's going to set it to custom. You have to turn this. Oh, it's on custom. Now, change your time. Turn it to C7. He's going to change the time to seven minutes. And don't hit start yet, baby. But then we'll hit start. And 
once it's done, I'm going to let it, it. You're at seven minutes. Perfect. Y'all can see what he's got done. He's going to know how to cook and use all these appliances. So in seven minutes when it's done, I'm going to let it sit and let pressure release for about five minutes on its own. And then we will manually release the pressure with a push of a button. Then we'll open it back up and come back on and show you what it looks like and add our Parmesan cheese to the top. So thank you so much for watching. You wanna come tell him bye bye? He may not be here when it's done. His mommy may be here to get him. Wish him happy Valentine's bye -bye. Day again. Tell him bye bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, y'all stay tuned. We'll have it done shortly. Okay, it has finished and it's been um, releasing the pressure naturally for five minutes. So I'm gonna hit this and then the pressure button. And the rest of the spoon that is in there is coming out. And when it finishes, I'll come back on and we'll open it up. Okay, the pressure released, so I'm ready to open it and I went ahead and shredded some Parmesan cheese. I love the double-sided grater. Comes with a little tray that you can grate either coarse or bigger pieces. And I love to do the bigger slices. It just makes the prettiest cheese. So I have got that ready and this does come apart. So you can use them separately or easy cleaning. So let me move those out of the way. And we're gonna open this up. I want you to see what it looks like when you first open it because you not all combined. We still need to stir it a little bit. Oh yeah. All right, so let me tilt this down so you can see the cream cheese is melted, but it doesn't combine. So what I'm gonna do is take this pot out and we're gonna stir it up. I'm gonna try to get this pot out so you can see what I'm doing. You don't have to take it out. I'm just doing it so you can see. Let me move this over out of the way. There we go. Move my cheese out of the way. Turner did want to start it and I didn't want him, I didn't start it in the first part of the video because I wasn't sure what time my husband was gonna be home and it only takes seven minutes. So I wanted to wait and start it until I knew my husband was closer to being home. So he, I did a little clip of him starting it. Let y'all tilt this down so you can see what I'm doing. He sat there and watched it as it built up pressure. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this because it smells amazing. So you're just gonna simply just stir it around and all that cream cheese and dressing it's coming together and it's melted. We just have to stir it. That block of cream cheese that was on the top melted fine. It just needed stirring. Oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Makes a lot. I promised him that I would take a bowl. They live right beside me. So I promised him I would take him some over to his house too. I'm gonna see if I can pour some in a bowl. This pan is hot, hot, hot. Y'all don't know how to grip it with this on. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. Dump it out so you can see it better. Woo! I'm gonna leave a little bit in there. <laughs> I got more than a bowl full for sure. Y'all look at that, look at that. So now is when you would take your um, Parmesan. Ooh, I like to drop the camera, y'all. Right in all this food. There we go. I need a camera assistant. I'm gonna take this Parmesan cheese and put on top. I'm gonna save a little bit to put on his bowl that I'm gonna take to him. And I will let that melt. Mm -mm -mm. It is smelling good. Y'all see that? So, so easy and in just seven minutes. It takes the pressure cooker about 10 minutes uh, to build up pressure, sometimes maybe 15, depends on how cold your food is when you put it in, um, but it didn't take it long and he watched it every little second. 
So when that cheese melts, I will dip us up some in our plates and we will be ready to eat. I'll take some pictures of it so you don't have to sit here and wait and watch it melt, but it will melt. Now I can put this in the oven. This is our medium serving bowl. It's oven safe and microwave safe. So I could put it in there if I want to, but it's warm enough that that cheese is gonna melt nicely. I'm sorry y'all aren't here to have some with me, but I will share the recipe in the comments and I hope y'all have a wonderful Valentine's Day and thank you for watching. Good night.